Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different for me that I have not done yet. This is going to be a full face of makeup that I forgot about. I was just scrolling through YouTube the other day, okay? I was just like, oh, let's see, let's see what I can do. Trying to find some inspiration, like what's my next video gonna be? And I saw that Raw Beauty Christie did this like a year ago or even more. Honestly, it's been a while. And I was like, you know what? I'm late to everything. I might as well add this to the list. So here we are. Obviously, I did an all matte cut crease. This is just, this is just what I do. Okay, I think we've all come to terms with the fact that this is just what I'm gonna be doing from now on. All matte cut creases are just my life. So that's what I did today. And of course it's colorful, of course, of course it is. And I did do something a little bit different. I threw some white in my crease. I always see Mama, Mama, Mama Mitchell do this. Oh, I always see it and I'm just like, that looks so beautiful, but I could never do it. I never thought that I'd be able to do it. And it turns out that it's way easier than I thought. And I am playing with cool tones because I feel like a cool tone lip was like my OG favorite color of a lip. I don't know how much I like these two together, but it is what it is. This is what we're doing. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look using all makeup that I forgot about, then please just keep on watching. If you see any tears on my face, I was just watching Raw Beauty Christie's birth story and crying like a little bitch. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is the J1 Jelly Pack. How freaking old is, I'm gonna say that for literally everything, but how old is this primer? I have not used this in so long. I am 105% sure that I need to throw this out after this, but it's the oldest primer I have. I actually wanted to use the Nivea, what is that called? I freaking used to love that. The aftershave balm or something, but I don't have that anymore. No Thank God. Thank God. This was my favorite primer for a while. It is like super duper sticky, especially when I had really oily skin. I used to love it. Look how thick and like gooey. I feel like this is going to be a hot mess, at least the skin portion of this video because my skin was very oily and now it's very dry and I just like, something like this freaks me the F out. Really quickly, I'm gonna prime my brows. I've only ever used one thing. I don't have a mirror. I should probably get one. I've only ever used one thing to prime my brows. So I'm just gonna keep using that one thing and I love it and it's perfect and I would never change it because it's, it's perfect. As I just said, it's perfect, so. I'm just going to run this through. For foundation, I used to love, is it this one that I used to love or is it the other one? I can never remember. I used to love the Natasha Denona Foundation X or Foundation X Plus. I'm not 100% sure which is the one, but the one that I found was the X Plus. So I'm assuming this was the reformulated one, but is this the one that I, I'm not sure. So I'm using the X Plus and I'm using the shade 70WN, which I am certain. Positive. It's not gonna match. But we're gonna use it anyways. I don't even remember what I loved about this foundation. I know that it lasted on my skin longer than any foundation that I ever tried before it. But that's it. Like, I don't know what the finish is. I'm assuming it's a matte foundation because I used to have oily skin, but that's it. I'm, I don't know. Oh my God, this color is horrendous. I pretty much have used the Anastasia Brow Definer for like a zillion years. So I don't, you know, so I don't really have something that I use to use and now that I don't use. I literally just stopped using this because now I'm trying out the Urban Decay Brow Blade. So since I'm about to do my brows, it is jam time. So let me toss on a bit of jams real quick. Just that I go for I have put concealer on my lids as my primer, but I feel like majority of my makeup career, I have been an eyeshadow primer kind of girl. So one that I used to use a lot, and it's it's painful that it's not gonna be my Anastasia one, although I am gonna use my Anastasia one later, but for now, the Benefit Air Patrol, I used to love this thing. So I really liked this primer 
Oh my God, look at this, look at this. Nah. She's expired, she's got to go. I am gonna go in with my concealer on my eyelid because that's um super expired, uh, super, but I got that. it's very expired. I definitely have some old crusty palettes, but the one that I thought really like stood out to me, I did three tutorials with this palette. I will try to link them in the cards. This is the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix. I will never declutter this. This is so special to me. Besides the fact that it's one of the first like colorful eyeshadow palettes like this, and the layout is super cool. Besides that, I just, I don't know, it's really special to me because of those three tutorials and because I had such a crazy love for this when I first got it that I just feel like I can never get rid of this. So the first shade I'm gonna grab is the shade Fran with a very fluffy brush. But first I will zoom you in, you see, I remembered, I remembered. And I'm gonna throw this into my crease. Honestly, I know a lot of people really don't like Kat and I feel like I kind of get it. Okay. I just feel like she was really innovative when she was still obviously part of, you know, her brand. Right now, it's KVD Vegan Beauty. It's not associated with Kat Von D at all anymore. With a more dense brush, I am going to go into the shade XOB. I cannot even read this. XOA or XON. Or, oh my God, it's the wrong way, that's why. <laughs> so with a smaller brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Vox. Yeah, that's what it's called. And I'm just gonna focus this more directly into my crease. I'm not, I'm still not like 100% sure that's so pigmented. So I'm not 100% sure what we're doing here today. I'm not sure what the, uh, what this is gonna look like. I'm a little scared, but it's cool. We will figure it out together. This is not even, this looks black on my eye and it's not even a black shade. That's like the kind of browns that I like. Let me take a breath before I do this. I freaking, I hate this part because it scares the balls out of me. Like I said earlier, I am gonna be using my Anastasia eye primer for this just because I um, want to. I think I used to use Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. So I'm cheating a little bit for this part. So like, don't fight me, but I feel like this doesn't count. You know, everything else, I think it counts, but not this. Okay, so that just like got out of hand a little bit there. Someone give me the link to the Anastasia eye primer in the Big Daddy version, please. I've been begging you guys for weeks. Someone has to have some intel. I feel like I wanna play with some greens because I think in my original tutorials, I never played with the greens. This shade Misfit is like doing something to me, it's doing something. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely something. So I'm gonna take that shade and I'm just gonna put it on the center. I, if you can't tell, because I've done several looks, like this, but I love the combo of yellow and green on the eyes. Freaking love it. I think I did a yellow and green look with the James Charles palette, which I'll link up here as well. I just love how they look together and that's just what it is. But I think that look was different if I remember correctly, which I might not because I have horrendous memory. Just the worst, I have the worst memory of all time. I'm gonna go back into the shade Fran with a little bit smaller of a brush and kind of just pack that. Yeah, see, I really don't love this yellow shade. That green performed beautifully. Gorgeous. The brown, amazing. This yellow is not my favorite. But that's almost like to be expected because I feel yellow is a difficult shade to perfect. So I'm just gonna take that Vox shade again and just like, just like adjust this outer corner a bit. I was gonna use the black, but I don't think it's a, it's a necessary thing, honestly. I think Vox got my back. So I'm gonna take my NYX 
matte liquid liner in the shade Blanc. Blanc, pinkies up. I am gonna put this into my crease. I mean, there's not really, this is pretty new to me, but there's not really anything that I used to use for this because I never did this. So I've decided I'm gonna take the shade Black Metal and I'm just gonna apply this all across my lash line as if it were liner, but obviously it's not, it's, a, it's an eyeshadow, but I want it to be very messy, very smudgy. The concealer that I feel like everybody used to use, not only me, was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Earlier you saw me use this um, underneath my brows and to prime my eyelids. I feel like nothing freaking comes out. When you put the wand in, I feel like I have to dip 300 times in this tub to get a good amount of concealer out. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's just really annoying. I like those really fat doe foots that everybody uses now a lot better. I feel like my favorite concealer of all time is probably, oh, I don't know. I like so many. I really love that Cover FX concealer. This concealer is like, okay. I just don't find it like special. I'm applying this places I know. I never would just so that I can get this to blend a little bit. I'm also probably going to be applying some powder that I normally wouldn't apply just to kind of make this color look a little less stupid. Now I'm going to take my loose powder. I think we can all tell which one I'm gonna use. This is Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I still really love this powder. I feel like a lot of people are like, ew, you know, there's so many better powders out there. And I agree. I really feel like the Too Faced Born This Way is probably the nicest powder that I've ever used. But this one is really nice still. So I'm just gonna take that right underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna start off with Fran. And I'm probably just gonna mimic what's going on. Just taking Fran right on this inner third here. Now I'm grabbing Misfit, which is the green. And just, you know, center of the lower lash lining it up. I guess I'm taking Vox and just outer cornering that up real quick. I don't want to bring that in too far at all. Now the last thing we're going to do on the lower lash line, not in general, is take the yellow color for Anne again and just Blend just a little bit underneath, just so it's not super stark. I mean, I'm barely blending. I really only want to blend the brown. So I would love to put a white in my waterline, except I feel like my white eyeliner kind of sucks. Let me see. I'm gonna try it. Let's see. And it's literally, why is there pink on it? I'm not wearing pink. This is Fascinating Eye Cool by MAC. Also, this is an extremely old pencil, so I guess this fits with today's um, thing, today's theme. That's what it's called. Four lashes. I, I just feel that these are perfect. These are by Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. These are so old. I, I don't know if Flutter even still sells them, but I've had these in my collection for an extremely, extremely long time. Okay, like a really long time. So these used to be like my favorite. These and the Makeup Shayla Lash, everything to me, everything. I hope you guys have been able to hear me all this time because apparently my mic fell at some point and just nobody knew about it. This is what they look like. This is apparently a new pair because I have to cut so much off of that. For mascara, I don't know what I used to use. I don't really care and I also don't 
have it. So I'm just going to use my lash brag. You guys know I don't care that much about mascara. I do really like my Anastasia lash brag. I know, actually, I do know. I used to use Too Faced Better Than Sex a lot. I also used to use Lash Paradise by L'Oreal a lot when that came out. But I am not going to go buy those because... I only ever have one mascara on hand. Yeah, so these lashes are really nice, but I definitely wouldn't say they're my favorite lashes in the world. I do still have to highlight my inner corner because apparently I just like to wait for the last minute. I want to use Legend because it's like a goal. You know what? I am. I'm going to use Legend. So let's do that and put that on the inner corner here pretty heavily. I already love it. I wonder if you guys can guess what I'm going to use for contour because I used to be so obsessed with these. I'm going to give you a minute. Did you get it? I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powders. I think I'm just going to use the OG one. Or should I not use the OG one? No, I'm going to use the OG one. I'm going to take the shade Java, which is this shade right here. I don't think I'm going to bronze, really. I mean, I might do like a little bit, but since I am about 19 shades darker than my skin right now, I just don't think it's necessary. I have not used these powders in um, like decades. <laughs> and... Maybe I should be, because that looks pretty good, I think. I mean, it's it's a little aggressive, but I mean, who are you talking to? I'm just going to take a little bit of that same Java shade, since it is a little bit on the cool tone side, and just throw the smallest amount on my forehead. I really don't want much warmth or anything like that. I just want a little bit of dimension. Usually I throw a bronzer up here, but... Like I said, the way my skin is set up today. To contour my nose, I am going to use, what shade is this? Fawn. I forget. This is Fawn. And I'm going to take that, obviously, down my nose. No, I'm not. I'm going to mix it with Java because Fawn is, oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good, yo. It's not an issue. It's not an issue. So blush, um, what am I doing? Something super duper disgusting and old. Of course. I used to buy these like every single year, no joke. This is the off the cuff Amazonian clay cheek palette by Tarte. This is like the first one they ever came out with or something. It's so old. It's just like the fact that I still own this is ridiculous so i'm gonna take um i believe this was my favorite shade because it looks like it was my favorite shade so i guess i'm gonna take that shade and i love blush so i'm probably gonna apply a whole buttload of it on seems about right so for highlight i brought over becca and jacqueline hill champagne pop how disgusting is this how disgusting is this is that pan i see is that and I've never hit pen anything in my entire life. So I used to be in love with this, obviously, um, just like the whole rest of the world. And I used to have backups of it. Like I was not playing games with this. This was like everything to me and like you could not tell me otherwise. So it just felt fitting. Plus Becca is, Becca's going out of business. And that's just so upsetting to me. My favorite setting spray, I mean, I never really used to use setting spray, but if I was going to, it would always be the Urban Decay All Nighter. Look at how effing traumatizing this bottle is. It's, it's actually disgusting. So I am gonna use this. I probably wouldn't use this today. That smells like straight up alcohol. Does this have alcohol in it? It literally smells like a shot. So I have two products here that I used to be obsessed with. Okay, I used to, I used to be obsessed. Um, the first thing is MAC Lip Pencil and Stone. This was like it for me. 
this was it. There was there was no other lip pencil in the world besides Max Stone. I haven't used it in a very, very long time, so I don't know what to even expect anymore, but we'll see, I guess. So I definitely wouldn't say this is my favorite lip pencil in the whole entire world. It is extremely cool toned, but it is like a darker kind of a cool tone shade. So I don't completely like loathe it. Another thing that I feel like I was obsessed. I mean, every single time a new color came out, I had it. This is the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Moon. I was so in love with these. You guys don't even understand. I have so many shades and like I legitimately don't use them. This obviously does come with a lip pencil and you're probably like, why didn't you use a lip pencil? I don't think this lip pencil would have been my favorite because it seems a little bit lighter than what I like usually. I used to be all about cool tone lips, like the grayer, the better. I mean, I still am, I still really like cool tone lips, but I don't know. Look how crusty this is, ew. So this is the finished look using Forgotten Makeup. I feel like I wanna run down some things really quickly. For the eyes, obviously I am still in love with this palette. I love it so much. If you guys have it, please dig it out of your collection. It is beautiful. It performs so well and I am so surprised by it. The ABH contour kits, I think that still is a really good contour kit. Like I really like the way that my contour looks today and I haven't used that in a very, very long time. The Foundation X Plus, I feel like this is not the one that I was obsessed with. I think it was the Foundation X that I really liked, but I don't, I can't find that in my collection. So I think I declutter that and I should declutter this like today. The NARS concealer is definitely not my favorite. I, I've been over that for a long time. I don't, I don't plan on ever repurchasing one of those. Honestly, half of these things I'm probably just gonna throw out because they're all very old. But the NARS concealer is really just, I just don't love the formula. I don't love the coverage. I don't, I just don't love anything about it anymore. So that's definitely one of the things that I am over. Laura Mercier powder, love it. Still think it's a very, very good powder. So if you guys have it, Dig out of your collection and keep using that. Kylie Lip Kits. This definitely feels um, on the drier side. I'm going to be honest with you. I've always known this. I personally don't mind a dry consistency. The Tarte Blush Palette. Oh my God, it's so old. But Tarte Blushes in general, I still really, really like them. Champagne Pop is not my favorite highlight in the world. Definitely not. It doesn't feel like my skin is wet or glowing or like anything. It just kind of feels a little bit powdery. So I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm not all about that life. J1 Jelly Pack, I probably will get rid of right after this video. It's definitely super old. It's extremely sticky and that's just not what I look for in a primer anymore. I like sticky primers, but I like hydrating sticky primers. And that to me is almost like a drying sticky primer. And that's not what I like. These eyelashes by Flutter are super gorgeous and go with this look really, really well. I feel like but again, not my favorite lashes in the entire world. They also are very, they are synthetic lashes, so they feel like they're synthetic lashes. My Anastasia Brow Definer, you guys know I still love that pencil. I mean, today my brows look crazy. Urban Decay All Nighter smells like straight up alcohol. I don't like it. I will not be wearing it ever again. I much prefer like my Tatcha spray or I'm like looking at my sprays trying to... I, I like you guys a lot better over there, okay? I like my Too Faced Hangover RX better. Oh my God, that Kristen Dominique one, that fourth ray one, love. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. And what's the other one? Snapchat. Eh, Snapchat. Mm. The other three though. Follow me there. Let me know what you guys thought of the products that we used today. Obviously, except the foundation match. I don't want to know about that because I know it's horrendous. But anything else, let me know what you guys thought of it. Did you think anything performed spectacularly that I didn't think looked good? Do you not like the eyeshadow palette? Do you not like... Is there anything that you saw today and you were just like, no, that is, that is bad. That's not what's up. I just feel like we're always trying to keep up with the trends. We're always trying to buy new makeup. There's always new makeup coming out and we're always like the first ones to get it, the first ones to review. And it's just like, can we slow down for a minute and actually use the products that we're buying, you know? I used this for so long and then just left it there. So like, why don't I use, why, why? 
why? But that's all I have to say, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Do I know the English language? I doubt it.